Okay, today we are going to install this contact frame onto this motherboard. This does say Intel 12th gen, but this will work with the 13th gen. So I've got a 13900K in here and a 4090. Uh, it's running a little hot, the CPU, so we're going to see if this contract frame will actually help. So with that being said, I'm going to show you how to install it. All right. Go ahead and take out the cables here. We'll unseat this GPU. We're going to undo the fan here. Sometimes it gets a little caught. Now we need to take out the Noctua air cooler. And you want to be careful when taking this out because there's a back plate underneath there that will fall out. And I'm going to try to catch it if I can. Let's go ahead and take out the brackets. Ooh, look at that thermal paste all over the place. And this Noctua goes on notch two when you take these brackets out. Go ahead, put this fan right here. Now, what we're gonna do is take some rubbing alcohol and Q-tips and get out some of that thermal paste. What we're gonna be removing is this bracket right here, and we're gonna replace it with this bracket. So it's got a smoother contact surface with the air cooler. Uh, that is Tucker, my 106 pound Labrador. Do you guys hear him? What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna put something behind, I'm gonna put this box behind so that way I don't lose my bracket here, which has the, which is the air cooler. All right, let's continue here and take these out. All right, we got the bolts out. As you can see, these are the screws. We got one side off. All right, here's the top. Go ahead and take out the CPU and clean it off. Oh man, too much thermal paste, look at that. All right, that should work. Okay, let's make sure we've got it, we're putting her in right. All right, she's back in, let me go wash my hands, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go back and dust these fans later on. Let's go ahead and just install this sucker. All right. So here's the contact frame. Boy, look how much nicer and clean that looks compared to what we had. Show you the old. This is the old. Old, new. All right, we're loose on the back. So what we're gonna do is try to catch that bracket. And we didn't catch the bracket. This is the back of the bracket. We're gonna hold this right here and slowly try to find. All right, looks like we caught the bracket. We caught the bracket there. I'm gonna hold underneath on the back here and just slowly rewind these screws, back them off until they drop a little bit. And then we're gonna go forward to where I feel it underneath. We just wanna get snug. We don't wanna to get too tight. 
So we have booting problems. There we go, we got it propped up. CPU is, looks good. Now we need to clean this off. All right, got that nice and taut. Now for Grizzly Thermal Face. Take off the cap, we'll put in the spreader. All right, now what you do is just slowly pull, there we go. And all we're gonna do is paint a nice thin layer Level two and level two, technically hole two. Okay, I think we now are ready to go ahead and put the air cooler on. All right, we got it threaded. All right, nice. Okay, now let's go ahead and put the fan back in, make sure we get it the right direction. Let's put the GPU in. Here's the 4090. She's a little dusty. I probably need to clean her up a little bit more. I'll do that later. I just want to make sure right now we got everything working properly. She clicked in. Let's go ahead and reconnect. Make sure she's in there. We don't want to catch a fire. This is a third party cable, which makes cable management much easier. Okay, there we go. And that is how you put in the contact frame onto your motherboard for the 12th gen or 13th gen uh, Intel CPUs. Hopefully now we'll get some uh, better uh, temperatures. Let's find out. So we've been running Tarkov for about 20 to 30 minutes right now. And the CPU package temperature is anywhere from 59 degrees all the way up to the high of 71, but the average is 64 degrees Celsius. That alone is an eight to 10 degree improvement by adding the contact frame onto the motherboard with the CPU. I highly recommend this contact frame. It's fairly cheap on Amazon, and it's worth it if you have a 12th gen or 13th gen Intel. Um, it's the LGA 1700 is the socket. So with that being said, I hope this video helps. And if you like the content, please, help, or please hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscriptions on YouTube so I can become a YouTube partner. But with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful uh, day, evening, or morning. Cheers.